everyone today we are going to talk about conditional statements or loops in tosca so there are three type of conditional statements exist in tosca if else while and do while i am going to discuss all these three things in detail as well as with examples now there is no for statement in tosca however there is another functionality called repetition by which you can use similarly like for loop that we are going to discuss as part of next video so let's get started so I am in Tosca Commander in test cases. Uh, we can just create one folder. So I'll create a folder uh, conditional statements demo. Statements demo. Okay. Now inside the folder, I'll just create one test case. So you have to have one test case. So we can just write TC001 or whatever you want. Now, in order to work with conditional logics, First of all, we need to have a scenario in which we want to apply a condition. So let's understand that with an example. So I'm going to use the source demo application only. And let's say for the first product here, you see that art add to cart button is there, right? Now, if I click on this, it becomes remove button. Okay. So let's say my functionality is going to be that if add to cart button is present, I want to click on it. However, if add to cart button is not present, then I don't want to click on it. Let's say that is my business scenario. Now, how would I achieve this? Because the input criteria is that based on the condition, make an action. Okay. So how would we do that? I will right click on the test case and here you will see create if statement. You just have to click on this. And as soon as it is created, you will see there are two things in this the condition and then whatever you want to perform in that. Okay. Now, whatever actions you want to do that you need to scan in modules and then pull it up in your test case. Okay. I've already done that so that we not do not waste time in scanning. So here, if you see, uh, I have already done the products page. So I'll just copy that and uh, I'll paste it here in the test case. Okay. So basically this scan is having this add to cart button as well as this particular link is present. Okay. So the first scenario which we are going to attempt is that if this is present, click on this. Okay. So what I can do is I can copy or I can drag and drop whatever you want and you put it in the condition. What is your condition first? That is what we need to define. Okay. So in the condition, in this page, I have mentioned right now this. So we are trying to verify first that is add to cart, cart item uh, like this particular button is visible or not. So we have put action mode verify here and visible is equal to true. So if this is visible, then whatever is mentioned in the then block, you execute those set of uh, steps. So you can mention as many number of steps you want. So I'll just copy and I'll paste it here. The same thing. I'll delete this from here. So that does not create a confusion. So here, if you see in case of if this is the condition we are putting and in then case, what we can do is we want to click on this. So I'll change the action mode to input and here I can say click. Okay. Now what would happen here is based on this particular condition passing, this is going to get executed. So let's execute it quickly and see if it works. So I'll run in scratch book. So right now add to cart is present. So it is going to click on that. I uh, will wait for the execution to get. So see it has clicked on add to cart and my execution is passed. Okay. Now this has changed to remove button. Okay. So if we want, we can include the logic of else as well here, but let's first see that if this particular is not satisfying, what would happen? Okay. So again, I'm executing my script and it is first of all searching that if add to cart button is available for the first portion of source labs backpack since that is not present it is not going to perform what is mentioned in the then block but my test case is going to get executed because we have applied a conditional logic here so let this get executed okay so our test case is finished. However, no action we were able to see. Okay. So here, if you see in the scratch book, my condition 
it will come in this particular color could not find this okay however my script was passed because this is what i have mentioned that if this passes then perform this action okay now this is how the if condition works and similarly the other uh, uh, more or less the other conditional logics are also similar which we are going to discuss now this is the one condition what we have put here okay we can put multiple conditions as well here okay so what will happen is if i'll put one more validation here let's say i want to say verify that uh, if the cart link is visible okay so i'll put true here okay now what would happen is these both of these conditions need to be uh, passed in order to execute the then block so that is how it works okay now uh, we were taking care of uh, the add to cart button but let's say i want to use it with remove button and in this particular logic only so what i can do is after creating the if statement if you will right click you'll be able to see this else statement okay so you can always click on this and what would happen is if this condition passes then this else whatever you define in this so let's say i define in this that uh, check uh, that this particular uh, like I, I can scan remove button and i can mention in that and then whatever set of actions so if then and else this is how the if statement works in tosca okay uh, as well as for that matter anywhere else as well okay now we'll go to while statement okay so how do we create while statement similar logic i will right click on the test case and here i'll be able to see do while and while so we'll first understand while so i'll click on this and inside while again i'll see two things condition and loop okay now what condition do i want to satisfy let's repeat the similar condition so i'll copy this and uh, we can put both of these it's fine so we have our condition to check if cart link is visible which is this particular link okay and then we have another condition that add to cart button is visible and let's say i want to click on add to cart so i'll put that in the loop okay now what would happen is in case of while condition how it works is it will check for the condition and it will reiterate the loop as long as the condition is satisfied so it will come it will look for this particular condition if it is satisfying it will perform the action whatever we are mentioning in the loop and then it will again check if it is true it will again keep repeating if it is false then it will get out of the loop so that's how it works now let's uh, just validate okay so we are clicking on this and here we are checking both of this we will make our uh, application so i'll click on remove so that uh, our condition satisfies now i'll run the while condition and we'll see so you can use uh, like whatever looping statements are there you can use whatever you want as per your business requirement but this is how the functionality is it has checked for that it since it was there it has clicked on that and then it is again checking if it is true or false since it is false it will get out of the loop in case it is true it will again perform the same operation so it will depend on what kind of scenario we have and based on that we can use so let this get completed and then we will move to the do while okay so this is how this is how the while statement works okay now we'll understand the do while loop now i'll in order to create that you will right click and here there was a while loop and here you have do while loop right click and here you will find all these three loops so if i'll click on this the only difference between do and do while statement is do in case of while you will see the condition is first and then the loop is there however in case of do while the loop is there and then the condition is there so the major difference between both of these loops is in case of do while that is going to get executed at least once irrespective of whatever is the situation okay because uh, we have changed the logic here we want to execute whatever set of steps we want first and then apply the condition so i can just copy this so i'll just copy this this is what i have mentioned in the loop first so i'll put this here in this particular case it is going to do the exact same thing however uh, we can 
use it wherever it is required in terms of what scenario we are trying to target so here we are trying to just understand so i am putting the exact same condition okay now i will make the changes here and then i'll perform this operation okay so see in case of do while since add to cart is present so first of all it is not checking any condition it will go and it will click on add to cart so that has happened now now it will go to the condition and it will check okay is add to cart present and is the link present since add to cart is not present uh, we'll see how it performs so let this get completed so see our execution got finished and we'll see here in case of do what has happened so see this is showing that the loop this first action has happened however the condition was false so it has got an out of the loop okay now the same thing we have achieved here but if i let's say i change this uh, if, if i'll reattempt this now okay so in this particular condition this is removed right now if i'll reattempt this we'll see what happens so it will click on uh, it will try to click on add to cart irrespective of the condition because condition is mentioned below so this is more or less you, how you can use all the different conditional statements in case of tosca as per your business requirement however there is no provision for for loop but there is a concept called repetitions which we can re easily use for uh, reiterating it to a number of times which we are going to discuss in next video so i'll just wait for this execution to get finished so it is taking little bit of time because it is trying to find add to cart button since that is not visible that's why it was trying to uh, wait for it so here if you see our script has failed because this particular button is not visible and then it has checked for the condition and obviously our condition is also not successful so it will get out of the loop and that's how you can use it in your test script wherever it is required i hope this was helpful and here i have mentioned like conditional statement loops so if pass or fail while it will get executed based on the condition and do while is going to get executed at least once whatever the steps are there and then the condition will be applied so this is how you we can use conditional statements in our automation scripts i hope this was helpful thank you very much have a great day bye bye